Well, howdy there, folks. This is your host, ID Jester. Thank you so much for checking out my video. And we are playing another one of our racing games we picked up here on the Steam Summer Sale. This one's called Ascento Corsa. So, uh, this is. I hate to even use the term racing game because it's more of a in-depth racing simulation. <coughs> it is very. Um, very in depth and tuned. Uh, you can go in and you can adjust. I mean, you just see there's tons and tons, tons and tons of stuff to adjust to get into. So what kind of tires, fuel, air alignment, you know, your rear wing, uh, your alignment on your tires, the dampers, the drivetrain, just about anything you can possibly think of is in here for you gearheads out there to uh, get into and check out. You can even get into telemetry and analyzing if you're braking too hard or whatever. Um, uh, stuff I don't even know about because <coughs> I just basically try to race and do the best I can and then um, adjust the computer speed accordingly. If I find it's a little too easy, I'll adjust them a little bit more difficult to make it a little more challenge for me. Um, so I don't really have any specific setups or anything like that. Anyway, the Ascento Corsa, very in-depth um, simulation game you can play online. And I should say that um, I can't apologize because there is a main screen that loads before this that has all your options and ways to set up the race and go online and do all that stuff. But uh, unfortunately, my recording software won't record on that layer. Um, when you get everything set up it basically loads like this secondary layer that I'm in now and that's when my recording software will load. So I can't actually show you the rest of the, of the options menu and everything but trust me um, very in-depth, very um, you know lots of stuff to get into and look at. You can even adjust your height of position in your car, you can adjust your view distance, uh, your view uh, range um, you know, if you want to look out the front bumper, you can adjust the angle of it. Um, if you want to uh, view inside the car, you can adjust the angle. I mean, there's just tons and tons of options. That's why I'm not really going to call this one a racing game. This is more of a racing simulation. So, we are going to be starting a race. Um, and let's see if we can actually... Do I have the info on the screen anywhere? Let's see here. So, um, let's see, it's 31 laps, but if they go by pretty quick, I think you can do them in under a minute a lap, so it uh, shouldn't be too long, maybe a couple episodes. I do have it on um, assisting us with our uh, braking and uh, traction control, and that's about it. I, there's uh, basically three different um, difficulties. There's gamer mode where everything's turned off there is racer which is half the stuff is turned on and half the stuff is turned off and then there's pro where all this stuff is turned off but uh, you can use one of those three choices and then basically turn it on and off uh, all your different options from in there so you can definitely set up <coughs> to uh, get to race any kind you want if you want it a little easier a little more difficult however you want to do it. <coughs> so it's, um, um, I'm going to try and <coughs> be quiet during the race this time, and not do too much commentating, so that way you guys can kind of concentrate on the race and watch what's going on as opposed to listen to me. I'll probably say a few words here and there depending on uh, <coughs> what's going on in the race, but uh, we'll see. We're going to do 31 laps. Again, <coughs> I have to apologize because this is a single weekend session and I cannot find any way out there to turn on or off the pits. I pull in the pits and nothing happens. Um, I have looked at all of the different options. There's no key to say, okay, I'm coming in the pits. I think it should just auto come on when you pull in the pit lane, but it doesn't. So uh, I think it's an issue in the single player. I think when the game was released, there was no um, pits, and then they added that afterwards. I think they added it in multiplayer. I'm not sure if they've added it in the single player yet. I don't. Know, I don't know. So, anyways, because of we don't 
can't get in the pits I have uh, fuel usage off and tire wear off obviously we need to have these off if we're gonna make a 31 lap race so let's give it a whirl we had Silverstone here and uh, kind of a little windy course we are driving the Nissan oh what are the name of these cars Nissan Nismo GT3 there they are right there on the screen actually so that's what we're racing figured we'd try a little bit different car and uh, let's restart the session here and uh, we'll get her underway and see how we can do so uh, welcome and enjoy the race So uh, I should say there are multiple different views, as you can see. Um, we'll try this one right off the bat here. We'll probably switch a few of the uh, views as we go along here. And uh, try them out so you guys can see. Well, we started in 11th or something, and now we're all the way to 15th already. So never get a good start because the anti-lock brakes which I do have on uh, activate and of course they lock up uh, so that way you whoa, that was a pretty good corner actually not too bad get around that guy in this coming up in this corner here Ooh, that guy nudged me into him. I got hit from behind, and I got hit from behind again. He tried to send me out wide. Had to gather it, and can I split through his two cars? It looks like I did. That was a pretty good race in there. All right, let's look at the inside the uh, cockpit view here. time you switch views it actually um, it actually uh, adjusts the steering and the handle of the car it seems like it was so that was a horrible corner just ignore that corner a couple positions back hopefully you guys enjoy the race to 11th position. Go back and swing it out there. definitely hear the gearbox shifting. I haven't tried to adjust the sound. Um, got a guy coming up on the uh, left here.
That was a pretty clean pass there. No touch, no turn, no nothing. So that was good. Try and get this guy on the outside, actually, which I have been able to do. There we go. So we're up to ninth, and uh, we've been uh, five laps in, so that's it's not too shabby. So I do, uh, you can adjust the weather on uh, when you set up the race. So uh, right now I just have it on bright and sunny or clear, I think is what it is. <coughs> you can adjust it to foggy, all kinds of different settings. So. Looks like we've got six cars lined up in front of us, so uh, if we can get by these guys, we could be up in uh, third position-ish. Try and get that corner again, get around them, and then it gets me on the inside for this corner, so that's a really, that's going to be my go-to move for this. I've only done uh, a few laps on this track, so I'm not an expert. Position maybe seven if we can get around this guy, which we did pretty good. He's gonna fight back around on the outside there, but sorry, buddy, I had to take that position from you. So pick these guys off uh, every lap or two. We can uh, move up pretty good, have a pretty good uh, result at the end. Hopefully, if we uh, don't have anything bad happen. So I will say of all the racing games that I've got on my channel, this is uh, the most in-depth uh, with um, the feeling and handling of the cars. I mean, everything is just so fine-tuned. You have to be um, really, really on point to get good lap times, keep your car on the track, not run into issues. Oh, I don't know. Can we try for a double? No, nope, I don't think so. All right, well, we picked another one off. Again, I'm going to try and keep my commentating down to a bare minimum here so you guys can sit back and relax and watch the race. Sorry, dude. I was trying to go around the outside and uh, got caught up with him. Nudged him a little bit with my front end there. Trying to stay well within the rules and try to race um, reasonably. So. Thank you. 
we got him that time. too hard in that corner at time. I was trying to under break him, but when I did that, little tap, little love tap, just let him know I'm there. Didn't even flash on the screen, it was such a light tap, so. up his brakes. Can we take advantage of it? I don't think so. We're going to try. Nope. We'll get him in the corner though. We're so close to him. We'll uh, under break him. Uh, yep. That time I hit him slightly hard. Not too bad though. I had to get around these guys. If I'm ever going to get up to first or second, I don't know if we'll be able to do that. It looks like these guys have checked out. I don't even see them. Looks like we're doing laps of uh, 58, 59 seconds. So uh, I've had... Uh, <clears throat> when I was practicing and getting my recording volume set because this has been a real doozy to uh, set up. <clears throat> I hit a couple laps of 57, so we shall see. I got him because he's on the outside. Yep. Oh, 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 slow down. Here we go. Alright, well, it's just clear sailing now. Let's see if we can even catch up to these other guys. Um, I don't even know if it tells us. tight in that corner. Looks like we left the competition in the dust though. So, uh, unfortunately, we won't be pitting because I can't figure out how to get the pit, pits to actively work. I'm breaking a little bit too early into this corner, and then... <laughs> It's almost like a triple corner there. There's like a bend and then another bend, and then you got to bend into the straightaway. So it's kind of a tricky one. That's a little rough into that corner too. Thank you. 
not exactly following the race line in that. I don't find the race line to be all that helpful in that corner. the thunder outside so hopefully it won't lose power or anything crazy well unfortunately it does look like the other guys have left us in the dust getting a little, uh, our handling is not nearly as good as it was a few laps ago. I do have turned off, um, more tire wear, so that seems a little weird. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, this is Ascento Corsa. And, oh, there's those two guys. Oh, my kids have advanced away. I saw them there. Oh, come on. That's not a very good corner there, but uh, it looks like they're about a straightaway ahead of us. If we can get some good lap times, we should catch them here. And uh, I would say maybe uh, 10 or so laps. We should see him coming around the corner there. Laps of 58 seconds. Really would like to get a couple 57s. There they are again. We haven't made too much progress catching them uh, right yet. And if my back end keeps sliding out like that, I can actually see them down at the end of the. Uh, 
straight away there. So maybe we are slightly reeling them in. Actually, there they were again. We are starting to spot them a little bit easier now. So that means we are catching them slightly. down two seconds on that lap from our best lap. We do it almost a complete stop there. That was horrible. Good low at 58, which is nice. Yeah, we're going to see him a little bit more now as we come around. Oh, that was really bad. Come on, dude. <clears throat> I got all excited about seeing him. I thought, oh, it's trying to just cut off a half a second or something. But, uh, I think we're cutting off a couple tens here, a couple tens there. Every lap. Now the question is, can we cut off enough? spot so it all comes down to can we get this corner can we hit it right there they are folks way up there we're catching them Just getting in the corner now. This is, yeah, we're definitely catching them. There they are. Uh, we can just have a halfway decent corner here. That would be so helpful. Oh, just a few laps left. 
under break going into this corner, maybe. There they are, just a little bit ahead of us. Oh, fastest lap yet, right there. That helped, that helped. Now keep it going, keep it going. It is going to come down to the wire. Unless I do stupid things like that. It causes a couple tents. Can we make it, folks? Can we catch him? We're almost up to him. Once we're up to him, then we got to get by him, so... I only have a few laps remaining. Time is ticking away, but there they are. We've reeled them in. Look at that. It's just consistently working, working, working. Trying to be consistent. Hit that corner way too hard. Yep. Trying to get... Three laps left. I said to Corsa, folks. hit this corner too fast now. Nice roll into there. That was a good one. Now if we can hit this corner just right, that would be so perfect. At 29. Ooh, I don't know. Coming down the wire here. We can under break them, catch up a little bit on this corner. I know that. If we get up to them, we might get a little bit of draft. There it is. We're going to have two laps. Two laps. to get by them both in one lap, but maybe do a little overshoot on the outside here for this guy on this lap and then hopefully the next guy in the next lap or maybe both of them this lap oh no okay here it is we haven't touched them we haven't even nudged them all right last lap white checker our white flags coming out we're in second position. We gotta do this without screwing us, getting knocked around and losing positions. Here it is, last lap pass. Can we do it? Oh, that's a little hard in that corner, but no harm, no foul. I didn't even, oh, spun her back in around that. Come on, we gotta catch up to him. This has gotta be the corner right here. It's gotta be the corner. We're gonna have to really slam our brake on this corner. 
He's got to hold that line, which I think he might. Uh, I think he might have holded it. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. We're going to try to drag race him to the final. No. I don't think we're going to do it. Oh, what an exciting finish, though. Oh, so close. So close. It says third place. What? What? It said third place there. That must be a glitch in the system. Obviously, you can see we ended up in second place there. Wow. Um, 31 laps. 43 minutes. And we ended up getting just 0.4 seconds behind them. 0.4 seconds. If we could have just done a little bit better on a couple of those corners, we could have had them. We could have had him. I could have knocked him out of the way and taken it, but I wanted to race fair. <coughs> so, there you go. Assetto Corso. Um, a racing simulation that is very in-depth. Lots of choices. Really good. The cars handle really, really well, and every car handles differently. I've played four or five different cars so far and the, each one handles differently has different br braking um, some of them I can do without having a lot of the assists on some of them I have to turn some of the assists on just because <clears throat> they don't have the weight in the cars and they're very uh, back end spins out a lot but uh, that's just practice and timing so just spend a little bit of time with it and you'll be fine as well so a set to course zone racing simulation Definitely great graphics. Um, really, really top top notch uh, tuning on the steering. The steering feels like you know you can just feel your back end coming around. You can feel uh, your car sliding and stuff, which means that I'm already correcting, even though you know I'm hitting the brake or I'm turning my steering wheel or whatever. I'm not waiting, <coughs> waiting to react. I'm already reacting which is uh, lovely. Um, there's lots of different racetracks and lots of different cars, lots of different things to do. They have road courses. They have uh, all kinds of different courses. So definitely worth a look. You can pick this up on Steam. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.